<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, in a strange coincidence, I have the weather on this set to dynamic, which uh, I normally do. And uh, it is actually mimicking our real life weather because it is just pissing down in the game. And it, it is doing that in real life right now uh, outside. We are in a uh, very rainy pattern right now. So, it's actually fitting so let, let's get in the bus let's get all cozy let's get the heat on i mean as you can see um it, it's september now so the passengers they're starting to dress a little more warmly you see gloves you see kind of like coats and hats so yeah and you know <laughs> this is one of the things that really makes me laugh because obviously a lot of love went into this game at some time and I, I understand that the developers aren't, you know, big on console. I understand that. But, like I said, man, obviously some real love went into this game at some point. Now, wait a minute. You know what? Sorry, guys. I don't know. Did I close the luggage? Yeah, I did. All right. So let's uh, let's get our wipers on here. And I think, well, do we need them on that pass? Maybe not. I think we can go. Uh, maybe we do need those wipers on that fast. Yeah, I think we do. So, I don't know if you guys just seen that, but I actually hit the, uh, the thing to scroll through the views, and somehow I jumped the curb? I don't know what the hell that's about. That's something new. That's never happened before. Okay, let's... Let's try to get on with our trip here. Oh, what I wanted to do... Damn it, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, so... We haven't listened to that in a while, so we'll just we'll just kind of leave it on. I can talk over it, it's not a big deal. We all know what he says. But yeah, that was weird. That's never happened to me before. Details of our snacks and beverages. 
There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. All right, so first thing I'd like to start off with is just letting you guys know that there's absolutely no news uh, as of me recording this video. No news of an update, no news of the Denmark DLC, no news of buses, uh, no news at all of anything. Nothing from TML, nothing from Aerosoft. They have just went radio silence. It, it's weird because they, they keep posting things on Facebook. Um, they'll never respond to a comment. Um, TML posts on Twitch constantly about the, the whole Flash Base FM. And uh, I've left repeated comments on that. Like, you know, you guys update about this every week and you don't say anything about a game that people have spent money for. You know, and again, they uh, they just, they refuse to respond. They, they won't respond to anybody. Um, you know, I'm not like... psychic or anything like that but just in my own opinion I feel like this game and uh tourist bus I, I feel like it's done I really do you know I feel like they've abandoned the game and uh I will let you, let you guys know in case you're watching this and you didn't watch my tourist bus video yet or maybe I didn't really see yet I, I don't know uh, let me just get these windshield wipers off since it can stop raining there we go um, so there is a youtuber out there that someone in my discord um, put in my discord so we could all see and he said that you know someone told him that there was a rumor floating around that Aerosoft has abandoned the game and this and that and so he he said you know i don't you know i didn't hear anything about that blah 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 so he emailed aerosoft apparently and uh asked them asked them to flat out if they're abandoning the game and of course they sent him a response say no no we haven't abandoned any game we haven't abandoned firm bus we're still moving forward with the denmark dlc you know i don't believe they said anything about updates <laughs> but uh you know and i mean look at if if y'all want to believe aerosoft if, if you want to believe what they tell you that is completely up to you you know uh, that's not that's not what i'm here for i'm not here to uh, to make up anybody's minds for them i simply like to show off the game and i give my opinions you know so like when i said that I think the game's being abandoned. That was my opinion. Um, I still hold that opinion. I still feel like that the game is, is abandoned, that they're not going to do any more with it. Again, I hope I'm wrong. You know, I would love nothing more than to see that maybe Aerosoft is, you know, rehauling its image or something or, or trying to get maybe a different developer in here or, or something to fix the game or maybe they're waiting you know until some of the, the bigger bug fixes can be fixed before they, they release an update in the DLC I don't 
think that's the case. I really don't. I, I, there's nothing about Aerosoft that I trust at this point. But again, that's just my opinion. I, I, you know, I, I put out the videos. Um, obviously, I love the game. I just wouldn't still be doing content if I didn't enjoy the game. I really do enjoy playing the game. Um, I just wish that they would fix it. You know, and I have said this before. You know, I don't even care. I don't care about future content. I don't care. Just fix what's wrong with the game now so we can just really enjoy it and have a good experience. And then if you want to abandon the game and don't bring another DLC out, that's fine with me. I'm, I'm happy with this. This game, there's plenty to do in here, you know, for someone that's got a little bit of imagination. You know, it's a big map. I don't mind it. I just want some of the things fixed. The AI, you know, tweak the AI, make the AI better. Uh, for the love of God, the uh, the transitions in this game, the night to day, day to night, you know, at the very least, please, please fix that. They're not going to, but uh, I can dream. I can dream. You know, I would love to be able to play this game and be able to transition from day to night. It's one of the things that I was looking forward to most when they uh when they announced the game and I knew it was coming out. But there's no sense in beating on that dead horse is there. Now on this road, it looks like that we can't use cruise control. So is that a thing in the UK? Are there highways on the UK where you're you're not able to use cruise control? I think that's kind of strange. Um, I don't believe that there's any limitations in America on that. None that I know of, anyway. At least in New York State, I know that there's no there's no highways that you're not allowed to use cruise control on. see here what a... okay looks like I will be getting off at this next exit good to know so we will be unlocking a couple new cities here in Germany actually that I still have cities in Germany that I don't have unlocked Imagine that. That's what I mean. Like, there's there's a lot to this game. Obviously, if you're someone who sits down and plays this game for hours and hours at a time, then, uh, you know, probably not. But if you play it more casually, then there's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, I haven't seen the Purple Cow yet. <laughs> I don't even know where it is, to be honest with you. But, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot to do in this game. Oh, yeah, there's that sun, so let's... Shut out those lights and get blinded by the sun. Go through a traffic light and smash the bus. <laughs> you know, like the weather transitions in this game and stuff like that look really good. The sky looks good. I mean, I I do like the game. As I said, I, I wouldn't still play it. I wouldn't do content on it if I didn't enjoy the game, which I do. And I enjoy tourist buses as well, believe it or not. Even though I am lucky, I don't have the problems with that game other people have. So we left from Munich, and we're going to be going to Augsburg, which that needs to be unlocked. And then our final stop will be Stuttgart, I think. And we haven't unlocked that yet either. There's a couple. There's a couple cities of France that we still need to unlock, but man, I am just I am frightened of France. I'm not even gonna lie. France is a uh, a scary place in this game. <laughs> it, it just seems like. A lot of the uh, the bad bugs in this game are in France. 
or some of the worst bugs I should probably say even with that being said though I'm uh, going to enjoy the drive here because that's my absolute favorite part about this game is just driving these buses long distance like we are you know that's that's the thing I want in console. I, I want long distance driving games. That's why I like Alaskan Road Trucker, it looks amazing. But I don't feel like it's gonna scratch that itch for like ATS. Which it, it's not it's not necessarily supposed to. Like they've come out and they've said um, that, you know, they're not trying to dethrone you know ATS or anything. Okay, Augsburg unlocked. Beautiful. There we go. Let's uh, open up these doors. There we go. Y'all can take your luggage and you find people can load up your luggage if you so wish. Yeah, the one thing I wish about this game, though, I wish they would do something <laughs> different with the, uh, the passengers when they get off. Uh, my friend, are you... Are you okay? Rezi, ich benötige noch ein Ticket für die Fahrt. Okay. He's going to Stuttgart, so he is coming with us. Let's just go down here to get to the ticket that he needs. Gosh, I wish there was a little quicker way to do this. Stuck cart, there we go. I'm just not a lot of people need tickets because Vielen Dank. Okay. Alright, what about you? No, you're just standing there. You're just standing there. Hello. You? Is that good? Vielen Dank. Yeah, the people that got off the bus, I wish they would just kinda vanish. But they don't. Oh, come on, really? Now I know I don't have to check because we just we just check that we know where we're going. Okay, get on the bus, ma'am. Mahlzeit. Here, my ticket. Wohin fahren Sie noch mal? Ich bin hier ja zum Not today, buddy. Not today. Okay. Yeah, no, not you. I already checked them. Like I said, I I'm fully aware that I can put the little icons over them so I know exactly which ones are coming with me. But you know, I just I know. It's a sim. I like to play it as such, you know. Are you? Are you all together? Okay, I guess so. How about you? Whoa, hello. hello. Good to see you. Thank you. Didn't mean to get right up in your head there. Guten Tag. Das Ticket. Bitte schön. Yep. Sehr freundlich. Okay. Sorry, I keep getting too close to y'all. Hello. You my ticket. Danke sehr. Guten Tag. Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? So what is the weather like in Germany this time of year? Because it's September. Well, no, I mean it's October. What am I thinking about? Oh my gosh! Oh no, wait, what is it? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it is. It's October. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Seems like I've uh, I've lost some time there. So yes, it's October. What is October like? In Germany, what is uh, early October like in Germany? Is it is it chilly because you know they're they're dressed like it's kind of cold, right? They got coats on and stuff. I don't care where I am in in upstate New York; it's starting to get chilly. Like right now, it's still kind of like in the 60s, but that's going to be changing fairly quickly. But you know what it is like? Time just flies it just flies man um get that so let's hello and herzlich okay we're not going to listen to him again 
Sound like one of the things I do like about this game is the dynamic weather. Because look at that, we started off, it was just gray and rainy and nasty. And now look at it, it's just it's sunny, blue sky. Such a pleasant day. You know, I almost, I almost want them to put, and again, <laughs> it's stupid to even say, right? It's stupid to say I want to see them put this into the game, but it would be cool if they had, like, the temperature, like a temperature gauge on the bus where we could see what the temperature is on side. Just, just kind of give a feel, right? But look at, I mean, the trees. We got some fall colors. God, that's what I mean. Like, th there was so much love put into this game at some point. Right? Like, when this game came out, you can see that they really did put a lot of love into it. You know, I would just love to see one day a developer put that amount of love into a game for console like this you know i mean like i know that there's games out there that that do see that kind of love but i mean like a driving sim like this it would just be fantastic because you know like if i set the calendar on this to just like september the leaves are still very much green you know and then as we move into november you're going to see that the trees are going to be bare you're going to get snow uh, it's 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 just a whole different vibe. That's one of the things that I'm really excited about for the new WRC title as well is that all the stages you can play in all four seasons and it makes it makes them look very different. grass. I think the grass on the side of the road is kind of a different color. I think that's more green and summer as well. Oh, that's another thing they need to fix in this game, the, uh, the sunshades. Again, I know, I'm beating a dead horse. I said I wouldn't, and then here I go. You know, it really is difficult to, to play a game, you know, and just not not talk about the things that are wrong with it or things that you know you'd like to see come into the game. Whoa, okay. My bad. <laughs> My bad. So, you know, the issue is with this, with the AI, is again, like, this is not technically a two-lane. Or is it? No, it shouldn't. It really shouldn't be, I don't think. Or I don't know. Maybe, maybe over in Europe is different. Let me know in the comments, guys. If you're, uh... Is that a two-lane road, or is something kind of off there? Seeing the, uh, the yellow and the white lines so close together like that, that makes me think that, you know, because of the road construction, that's kind of like more like a one-lane. So either we can't use cruise control, or this bus, the cruise control is broken on it. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe that's a thing. Whoa! Was it made an engine? So I don't think we, uh... I don't think we have to take a break. 
because this is under a four hour trip. Ah. There's that wonderful Fruit Bus AI that you gotta love. There's nothing there. It's just that one truck. That one truck is doing it. And they're... Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Where'd the car that was behind him go? Okay, we managed to get over without hitting anyone, which is... Interesting. This truck is going to do it again, isn't he? Oh, he is. You know, it's like, even even though I know it would be very immersion breaking, but like, even if they could do it in a way where if that truck was having an issue, it just disappears. Like, you know, if it stops like that on the road, you know, and obviously there's not a stop sign, there's not a traffic light or anything like that. It, it, it should clear itself up. Well, you know, that would be ideally what you would want. Like I said again, it would, yes, break immersion big time. But at least it would get traffic moving. Man, look at all the gold colors, man. It really does. It, it feels like fall, doesn't it? Like I said, you have to at least, at least give them that. They did a good job with that. And again, like, I understand that some people are okay with the way the game is. That they feel that it's very nitpicky, you know, to, to complain about some of the things. What's going to be a major issue to some people may not be a major issue to other people. You know, I think the major consensus is that the AI is a problem. You know. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I think a little bit of variation in traffic is fine. Because you do get weird things that happen in real life. You'll get people that do some crazy things driving. But you could tell, it, I think it's... It's kind of the thing where if it was something planned, it would be okay. Like if they said, well, you know, yeah, it's kind of planned that some cars, there might be an accident or something that you see on the road, which would be fine. But when AI just stops suddenly for no reason in the middle of the road, you know, even if they had something like, oh, a deer ran out or something that you could see, you know, give a reason, I think it'd be okay. But the way it is now, how it just stops for no reason, that's uh, that's problematic. And it does, it, it hurts the experience, it does. I think even if it was confined to cities, it would make more sense. You know, you would never see traffic just stop on a highway like this. Okay, we got the cruise control working now, so it works on this bus. It's just, yeah, maybe maybe there's certain roads like you're not allowed to use cruise control. I don't, I don't really like cruising at a hundred. Let's try to drop down. We should be driving about eighty miles an hour on these roads. We were going up a grade, so we lost. We lost speed pretty quick. There we go. 83, that's pretty good. Yeah, I got vans passing me, so that's 
that's nice. Yeah, I love the fall colors, man. It looks really good. And you know, it's, that's what I mean. Like, I, I don't feel as gamers for these, these types of simulation games, you know, I don't think we're really asking for much. And that's why I said, like, literally, someone could come along, and as long as they make a game better than this, they're going to be in such good shape, aren't they? They really are. You know. And you, you're going to hear some people that are going to be, you know, that they're going to tell you flat out that SCS, they're not going to bring their games for console. Um, I'm not one of them. I, I do feel that we are going to see... ATS or ETS2 on console one day. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're going to get it by the end of next year. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're going to get it by the end of 2025. But I do feel that it, it will happen eventually. I, I just don't think it would be a, a smart move on their part not to. You know? Now, with that being said, even if they do put it on console, it doesn't mean it's going to be good. Right? It doesn't mean it's going to be good. You know, of course, I want it to be. We all want it to be. But it doesn't mean it will be. You know, it's got to be done right. And there's a lot in that game. There's a lot in that game that I, I question, you know, would we see? Oh, our our cruise control just shut off. See what I mean? That's so weird. Okay, turn it back on. I didn't hit a break or anything. Hm, weird. You know, like for example, all of the, the little events and stuff that you see in those games. Accidents and stuff like that. The police, sometimes they have, uh, you know, exits and stuff closed off. You know, would we see that on console? And I think that would be part of the problem. Because that's what we're going to want on console, isn't it? Right? We're going to want all that. Ooh, I've never been here. Look at this. This is nice. Looks like there's a big stadium over there. And you know what this game, I, I really wish they would have gave us the football DLC. I really do. I don't care if the teams weren't updated. I don't follow soccer anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just feel like it would bring something more to the game. And it would have been so much fun. We don't need those lights on now. Looks like it's a windy day here, too. Yeah, we got... Leaves and stuff flying across the road. Alright, looks like I'm in the right way. So good. Good, good, good. guys so we are almost there as always i thank you so much for watching my video and i always ask for a little like from you guys if you did enjoy the video subscribe if you're already not subscribed don't forget to tag the little bell because then you'll know every time i uh i release a video or go live we do have a discord feel free to join that the link will be in the uh, description below we're having a lot of fun over there trying to build the community i would love you all to be a part of it i hope you all have a fantastic day Again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.
Wir sind schon da? 